Oh. All right. Right next to me is uh, Ron Goldman, a 23-year-old tennis pro. Give him a big hand for coming down here. All right. And down at the end is Anthony Paduano. Paduano, a 24-year-old bartender. Welcome, Anthony. Good to have you here. All right. Guys, here's the deal. The guy with the most hearts at the end of the show is crowned King Stud in a fabulous ceremony with, with little children and lily pads. It's, it's really beautiful. Uh, and uh, you also are entitled to a fabulous date with uh, the woman, and we pay for it. Perfect. Perfect? All right. Ron, yeah. we'll start with you. Uh, you make a good impression on the phone over with a woman? Uh, I guess so. Um, I don't like to talk a lot on the phone, so I'm kind of blunt to the point. Just get, let's get it going. Be ready at 8. I'll be there. Boom. Be there. Okay. Yeah. All right, we asked the ladies... What they, what their impressions were of you when they talked to you on the phone, Ron. And here's what they said. One of them said, "Rough, wild, and oh, so sexy." <laughs> Second lady said, "This guy is mucho macho." Yeah. Third lady said, "Uh oh, I got a date with Polly Sh." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, come on. Say it right. Uh-oh. Got a date with Polly Shore. Uh, <laughs> Connie. Connie? No. Oh. oh. What'd you say, Constance? I said this guy is mucho macho. Really? Why? Well, because when I first talked to him on the phone, he had a deep voice, like a man should. And I thought, uh -huh. I thought this guy better be hot with personality like that, so. Meaning his personality was great, or...? Um, he was kind of, like you said, straightforward on the phone, to the point, kind of cocky, you know. And did you like that? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who thought they were talking to Polly Shore? Who was that? Oh, Diane. Why? Um, because he told me he was going to go play volleyball at the beach, and I pictured a long hair, skinny, um, because he sounded like a beach bum, sort of like Polly Shore. Uh-huh. Is that your type? Um, no, not really, but he didn't look like that, so. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Anthony. Man. Good. Uh, what's the first thing you notice about a woman? Um, I like, most of all, I like full, sexy lips. Wow. I love, I, I love to kiss. I love to kiss a lot. I like kissing. Okay. All right, well, we asked the ladies what they noticed about your looks, Anthony. And here's what they said. One of them said, love that big nose. Oh! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Second lady said, he's everything I've ever lusted for in a man. Somebody said, yo, he looks just like Rocky, the flying squirrel. Yeah. I love that big nose would have to be Diane. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Large noses are trademark with Italian men, Diane. Is that good? Yeah, I have a fetish for noses. I think that uh, gives someone personality, and he had a nice big nose. Really? <laughs> yeah. <Big nose. laughs> All right. Uh... Five people lost weight with Dexatrim. Now that's powerful proof. Dexatrim, medically proven to help you lose weight. <laughs> All right. Ron did pretty good. Ron's got five, but five doesn't beat a perfect nine by Anthony. Oh, my God. Oh, how exciting. Here's the deal, guys. You can still win, though, Ron, because it's, it's double or nothing now. All you got to do is tell me who you want to go out with. If she wants to go out with you again, still going, you get to go, and we pay for it. All right? Perfect. We'll start with you. All right. Uh, I didn't pick Connie. Mm. Um, it dragged too long. I had no clue, like, really where the feelings were, so I kind of left Connie out. Okay. Um, didn't pick Vala. Mm. Um, Vala was a great girl, but um, I just had the best date with Diane. Okay. <laughs> All right. And if Diane had her best date with you, where are you guys going to go? Um, I figure we get a houseboat on the Colorado River for a couple days and lie naked during the day. And of course. <laughs> make love naked at night. <laughs> you should get a, a house Jeep. A house Jeep. Perhaps. I was thinking about it. All with right. A glowing condom. Or a Jeep boat. Anthony, perfect stud. Same deal with you. Well, I had a good time with Connie. We just didn't click. It just didn't. Thing to go off, uh, so I didn't pick her. Okay. Also, I uh, had a great time with Diane. Um, nothing wrong with the date. Everything went wonderful. I didn't pick her. And I... Hands... Vala. She's it. She's forever. She's forever. I'm shocked! 
<laughs> if Val picks you, where are you guys gonna go? I think we're gonna go to Aspen, Colorado. Mm. Oh. We'll melt the slopes during the day, and we'll snuggle by a fire at night. <laughs> oh, Aspen, Colorado, the bedtime story capital of America, yeah. I believe. Yeah. All right, we'll make it to bedtime. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> Uh, Connie, neither of the guys picked you. Did you have fun on the show? Yes, I did. Swear? Swear. Okay, well, you get a, 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 a pack of uh, Jiffy Instant Pudding uh, as our little <laughs> uh, going away gift. Would you, would you show us who you picked there? Oh, Ron! Oh. All right, Ron selected uh, Diane. Diane, if you picked Ron, you could be off on a fabulous houseboat trip on the Colorado River. Ooh, it's going to be chilly. Ron! Yeah. All right, pal. It's all up to you. Diane picked Ron in the incredibly unlikely chance that you picked Anthony. You're off to Aspen and skiing and, and bedtime storing and melting snow. What's it going to be? Oh, my yeah. God! I it. The perfect stud finishes the race. Good job. Oh, my. And it warms the cockles of my heart. I tell you, I will see you next time. Bye.